We humans like to boast that we are the crown of creation, and indeed, it is undisputed that our civilization and technological achievements have borne many groundbreaking blossoms. However, things get a little less clear when we consider whether we are also the only highly evolved species in the universe. However, some people think that we should first approach a completely different, no less exciting question. Are we really the first highly developed species on our planet? And would it even be possible today to find traces of an advanced culture that may have disappeared billions of years ago? Luckily, we are not the only ones with this question. Some renowned researchers also want to solve this great mystery. Stick around until the end to see what the absolute experts have to say on this topic. Before we get started, give a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more exciting videos. We would also be happy if you commented on this video to let us know your thoughts. The Silurian Hypothesis Huge high-rise canyons, complex road networks, man-made objects everywhere. Everything that we have created and left behind in the course of our existence will still bear witness to our former existence even when the human era is long over. But how long will that be? What if the extraterrestrial visitors land on our blue home planet even when the last human structure has already crumbled to dust? And what if these visitors are ultimately ourselves? Before delving any further into how it might be possible to uncover traces of a previous civilization, we should first ask ourselves why scientists are even bothering about the existence of a lost high-tech species. The answer to this is as simple as it is obvious, because it is theoretically possible. According to this, there was already enough fossil carbon on Earth around 350 million years ago to fuel the engine of an advanced civilization. This basic idea and the conclusions that flow from it are known in the scientific world as the Silurian Hypothesis. The name alludes to the fictional species of Silurians who appear in the British TV series Doctor Who. Given the fact that we have already unearthed many ancient fossils, one might think that finding direct evidence of such a people would be easy. But unfortunately, that is a fallacy. According to Adam Frank, an astrophysicist at the University of Rochester, and Gavin Schmidt, director of the Goddard Institute for Space Studies, it is extremely unlikely to find the remains of technological artifacts millions of years old. After such a long period of time, it is advisable to start the exciting search for clues elsewhere, namely at those climatic and geological changes that can be indirectly attributed to the presence of a highly developed species. What the Earth Tells Us At this point, however, it should first be mentioned that the two scientists argue on a purely theoretical level. According to their own statements, Frank and Adam even have great doubts that there was any other industrial civilization on Earth before us. However, engaging with the topic could raise some new, useful questions that have the potential to yield new insights in other research fields. But now, back to the actual topic. Measured against geological time periods, our species is practically still in its infancy. While Homo sapiens appeared on the face of the Earth many years ago, we made the transition to an industrial civilization less than 300 years ago. According to this, we flourished very late on the planet that had been orbiting the Sun for 4.5 billion years. In the untold millennia ahead, some experts say a previous species would have had ample time to technologically ascend and then disappear without a trace. As already mentioned, the consequences that the existence of such a culture had on Earth could still be traced today. Accordingly, the rock under our feet always gives us a glimpse of the changes that the planet has gone through in the past. So the geological record of the last 2.5 million years shows some climate changes, different soils, and the fragments of our hominid relatives. 
However, the fact that the geological encyclopedia of the Earth's history is far from complete becomes clear when we start turning back the wheel of time. The deeper we delve into the past, the rarer physical relics become. One day, this fate will probably overtake us too, with our massive cities twinkling like mute armies of fireflies in satellite images at night. It seems as if we have changed the face of our planet forever. However, if we now move to scales that span millions or billions of years, we see that the demise of our structures will occur in the blink of an eye geologically. As a result of erosion and sedimentation, the evidence of our existence will be wiped out from the Earth's natural maw. Okay, maybe particularly ostentatious, and large buildings would manage to last a fraction of a million years. But what's the use if the next advanced species doesn't evolve until a billion years later? Possible Clues while it is true that physical artifacts decay extremely quickly, this does not apply to the climatic and mineralogical traces that we leave behind on our blue home planet. It is thanks to the manufacture of plastics and atomic bombs that we leave some persistent, sometimes radioactive, footprints on Earth. Of course, the use of fossil fuels should not be left out as they change the carbon ratio in the atmosphere. In fact, we know that there was also a massive release of carbon around 56 million years ago. But what is the background to this development? Could the dramatic increase in temperature and the associated mass extinctions be due to climate change attributed to an advanced species? Well, probably not. In fact, these consequences can also be due to volcanic activity or asteroid impacts. But how can we be sure about this? Frank and Schmidt think it would be worth looking into marine sediments for short-lived events that may have had an unnatural background. Accordingly, traces could be hidden in it that indicate the development of geothermal energy sources. Anomalies in the sediments, for example, in their chemical composition would also provide us with valuable clues. In addition, it is conceivable that our hypothetical predecessors organized their waste disposal in such the same way as we do. However, the future will have to show whether really large plastic or nuclear waste deposits lie dormant deep underground or on the seabed. Assuming this ominous species evolved somewhat like ours, how far did its sphere of influence extend, and what ultimately happened to it? Career and Destiny True to the motto, Earth is just the beginning, the international space agencies are currently dreaming of building permanently manned bases on the moon. But for financially strong dreamers like Elon Musk, even that is far from enough. Despite the fact that no human has set foot on the red planet, a human colony is to be established on Mars in the foreseeable future. Assuming that these projects are successfully completed in step with technological advances, why shouldn't it one day be possible for us to colonize countless other celestial bodies and master the step to interstellar space travel? In this regard, Frank and Schmidt think it is conceivable that the former high-tech civilization pursued very similar trains of thought. It is therefore possible that humans were not the first species to visit the moon at all, and it is possible that someone has already been to Mars before us. Given the immense amount of space junk that cavort around the Earth, extraterrestrial observers would recognize at first glance that the planet behind the floating wall of garbage must be inhabited by advanced beings who are not too concerned with protecting the environment. In fact, it would even be easier for us to discover the artifacts of a progenitor species on Mars or the Moon than on Earth, where tectonic activity and erosion would have already wiped them out on a large scale. One question remains to be answered. If there was a highly developed culture on Earth before us, why did it disappear at all? Unfortunately, according to some experts, such as Stephen Hawking, it is in the nature of technological civilizations to eventually wipe themselves out. As a result, the development of a civilization would tip over at a certain point, with further developments inevitably leading to self-destruction. The downfall can be based on very different factors, such as genetically modified viruses, nuclear wars, or uncontrollable greenhouse effects. 
It is also conceivable that a species may ultimately fall victim to its own pioneering achievements. Once it gets off the ground, with a rapid developing superintelligence, it could soon lose control of its own invention. However, the former earthly inhabitants may also have heeded an advice that Stephen Hawking recommended to us. In order to ensure the survival of mankind, it is essential to leave the Earth and colonize new celestial bodies. Strange Objects on Mars Tales of Martians, or even an ancient civilization of Earth's former inhabitants, are arguably as old as humanity itself. Although there is currently no evidence that the famous red planet is inhabited by extraterrestrial beings, all the mysteries of our cosmic neighbor are far from being unraveled. Among the inexplicable formations that are currently keeping experts in suspense are those objects on Mars that, due to their shape, appear as if they had not formed naturally. Over the years, various mysterious hooks, cups, hammers, or even the ruins of an abandoned Martian city have been speculated and called out by so-called experts. While most people write off these theories as pure madness, there may be some truth to them. On the surface of the celestial body, covered by rocks and rust, many extremely unusual structures have already been discovered that cannot be easily classified in a comprehensible context. No less exciting are those structures that at first glance are reminiscent of bones, fossilized creatures, or even living Martians. This is all supposedly evidence that the red planet once harbored, or possibly still harbors, life. But is it nothing but an optical illusion? What do you think of the mysterious objects on the surface of Mars? Let us know your thoughts on this in the comments. Many of these sightings have been chalked up to nothing more than pareidolia, though some people say that another explanation could be that a highly advanced civilization may have once lived on Mars. To investigate these theories, among other things, NASA worked to develop the Mars rover to give us a clearer picture of what may or may not be living on Mars. So far, nothing substantial has been found, aside from a few stray photos here or there that seem to get conspiracy theorists talking. However, as it stands, no concrete evidence has ever been found that any living creature has ever set foot on Mars, at least not in recent years. In reality, there is a very real chance that Mars was once a bustling tropical haven for wildlife and other types of living creatures. While this hasn't been proven beyond a shadow of a doubt just yet, scientists have claimed many times that they have discovered evidence of previous life on Mars, after announcing that they've found evidence of rushing waters and rivers on the dusty planet. One thing we must keep in mind is that the Mars rover has only been able to traverse a very small area on the planet. This means that there are thousands upon thousands of miles of land that have never been seen by human eyes. Various organizations have continued to develop new technology to send to Mars, so that we can get a clearer picture of what the planet may have looked like many years ago. Currently, a new type of Mars helicopter robot is being developed that will allow us to cover a much larger surface area in a much shorter amount of time. Researchers are still working on the kinks with this new robot, but they expect to send it to Mars sooner rather than later. If all goes according to plan, we may soon be able to say once and for all whether or not life ever truly existed on Mars, and whether or not it may be habitable in the future. Crash Landing on Mars? The internet makes it possible. While in the past the exciting stories surrounding the inexplicable sightings on Mars had to be passed around the world by mouth, the theories are now spreading rapidly across the World Wide Web. It was some of the images of the surface of Mars published by NASA that soon attracted the attention of many die-hard UFOologists. In the images, which were taken during unmanned exploration missions, we see an ominous dark structure that is estimated to be 190 meters wide. According to the statements of the UFO hunters, this is by no means a natural rock formation, but in fact, an imposing spaceship of extraterrestrial origin. In detail, the object is located in the so-called Medusae Fosse Formation, a vast graben system between volcanic centers that stretches along the equatorial line. Assuming that the dark structure in the photos is actually a spaceship, it is not really surprising that the landing in such an impassable terrain inevitably ended up in a bumpy crash. While the experts on the recordings simply state they see nothing there but natural geological landscape formations, 
The ufologists see further evidence for their theories in the surrounding details. Accordingly, long landing tracks could be seen in the ground behind the spacecraft, which suggests that the aliens managed to bring the unplanned crash landing under control at the last moment. Alright folks, now we're interested in your opinion. Do you think it's possible that another advanced species existed on Earth before us? And if so, will we one day be able to discover the traces of our mysterious predecessors? As always, let us know your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's video in the comments below. Please leave us a like and subscribe to stay up to date from now on. Finally, be sure to check out our channel's other exciting videos, which you can access by clicking on one of the pics in the credits right now. And with that, thanks for watching, have a good one, and see you next time!